Okay, that's how it goes in my head. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Greetings and salivations, everyone. I'm Krista and welcome to Sea Rad. Today I have a This is the Art video where I am highlighting artist Naoko Malali. I hope I said your first name right, Naoko. But guys, she does some incredible work, so stay tuned. And if you love our videos and want to see more, please subscribe to our channel and Turn on that notification bell so you don't miss seeing us in the future! Sea Rad! Well, hello, hello, hello everyone! Welcome! We hope everyone's doing totally rad today. Today is one of our This is the Art videos, and if you're new and don't know what that is, every once in a while I have a This is the Art video where I feature independent artists and creators. And today's creator was sent to me by Marcy, who is my awesome, awesome assistant when it comes to finding different creators and artists and things like that. And I know I say it all the time, guys, but I think this is my favorite so far. The artist is Naoko Malali, and again, I hope I'm saying your name right and my apologies if I am not, but from here forward, guys, we're just going to call her what she uses on social media, and that's Nabaka. She has Instagram, she has Etsy, she has, I think, T-Bubble, not Teespring, but T-Bubble, and you know what? I'm going to put her link tree down in the description of the video. That way you can check out all of her sites. But what we're focusing on today is the prints of her watercolors that she sells in her Etsy shop, and she sells stickers too. So I've got three stickers and two prints to share with you guys, and yet, yeah, just you wait till you see them. Let's start with the stickers. So you guys all know how much I love Baby Yoda. Is it obvious? I don't know. But to start off, we've got this really cute sticker of little Grogu eating the frog lady eggs. How super cute is that, guys? And the sticker quality is great. They're really thick and really durable. This one is on a glossy vinyl. She also offers some of her designs in a matte vinyl, but this one has that glossy look. Guys, it's important to know they are not UV protected, so these would not be something that you'd want to stick on your car or use outside for any long periods of time. But put it on your laptop or anywhere else that you like to put stickers, and yeah, he'd be really cute and fun to look at every day. Now, I've got two other ones. You guys all know how much I love Disneyland. So we've got little Grogu drinking out of his soup bowl in the teacups. How super adorable, guys. And we've got my favorite one. He's got his Mickey ears, he's got his turkey leg, and he's got his Mickey balloon. So, stickers, totally awesome. They sell on her shop for $4 a piece. I think that is a really awesome price considering how cute and adorable these are. And the quality just seems to be outstanding. So, yay on the stickers. Now, she doesn't just do Grogu stickers, guys. She has all kinds of stuff over on her site. So, hop on over and check it out when you're finished watching the video. So, that was the fun stickers, guys. She also does prints of her watercolor art. And the first one, it may not be Grogu, but it is one of my favorite Star Wars characters. It's little Mr. Babu Freak. It's like a little baby Babu Freak. He is so cute and adorable. I love it. Look at the details on him, guys, and look at the coloring. Just an amazing job all around. And yeah, Babu is not alone. We've got one of these guys. Look how adorbs. You got Mando holding the hand of the child. The details on it, they're in that cute little chibi type style. Is that the name of the style, guys? Because they look like cute little chubby cartoon characters to me. They are just super adorable. And look, there's even a little frog, and Mando's pulling him away from the frog, going, No, 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 frogs are friends, not food. And little Grogu's there like, No, I want to play with the frog, Daddy Mando. I don't want to eat it, I just want to play with it and love it. <laughs> okay, that's how it goes in my head. So that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. But aren't her watercolor prints awesome, guys? The cardstock that she prints them on, guys, it's really thick, and yeah, they're bendable, and I would totally frame these and put them up somewhere so they stay safe, but the paper itself is 100% cotton fine art paper. It's really smooth, and the colors come out just amazing on it. I really would love to get my hands on an original watercolor from her, so I might have to save up for that someday and talk to her about getting one of those. 
But for the prints, they are really affordable. The 5x7 prints like you see here are $10 a piece. And then she does 8x10 prints as well, and those are $15. So not too shabby at all. Cute way to support an artist and get some really unique fan art into your collection. I think they are so cute. I had mentioned that she had the t-shirt shop, and there's none of these on there right now, but there is this little guy available on a t-shirt, and I'm also considering getting one of those because he's so cute, and I just, oh, I love him so, so much. Hello, Babu. Guys, I have a 10-inch Babu Frick Pop pre-ordered, so I can't wait to get that and unbox it for you. But, okay, back to her art. This isn't the only little Grogu and Mando pick that she has on her shop. She also has these couple right here. Super cute, right guys? And again, like I said, she does Star Wars art. I think I saw some Marvel stuff on there. You know I'm all about the Marvel too, so yay, excited about that. I may have to add several of her prints to my collection, but we'll just have to wait and see what the future brings, right guys? So what do you think of these cute little watercolors? What did you think of the stickers? Which one was your favorite? Did you like the stickers better, the watercolors better? Again, I love that little one with him with the Mickey ears and the Mickey balloon. I cannot wait to take Fisher to Disneyland and be able to do that. Guys, it's coming. It's coming soon. We're actually probably going to hold off till the fall on that just to let them kind of get the bugs and kinks worked out of everything. And I like it better there in the fall anyway. And maybe we'll get there around Christmas time and see some Christmas decorations. How fun would that be, right? But I forgot to rate her art. So Nabaka's art of course, on our scale of totally bad to totally rad, definitely a totally rad from me. These are super cute and adorable, and I love them, and I can't wait to frame them and add them to our ever-growing Grogu This is the Art wall of art. I will be getting that done in the near future, and I'll do a whole video so you guys can see everything in one place. But in the meantime, if you liked this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more awesome and totally rad things in the future, please subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss seeing us. And I guess there's only one thing left to say. Right, art dudes? We'll see you later.